Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Monster Techno and I'm back with a new video and now with the series. So in this video series, we will discuss about Firebase Firestore, like storing data, retrieving data, searching in the collections and many more things using application. For in this first video, we will create just a login page for logging the user using Firebase. I know it is simple, but I will show from the beginning. So let's get started with a new project. Okay, so now the project is ready to work, but as this this is the latest Android Studio, so it takes the targeted version as 28, but we need to change it to 27. Now we need to change the dependency version also. Now we need two more dependencies. One is design, and another one is recycler view. We don't need those uh, in this part of the video, but we need the them in the later part of the series. So we just added them. Now seeing the project. So guys, sorry for the background noise as I cannot solve this background noise like uh, thing, but it's okay. So now we need to add Firebase to the project. So open a browser and open Firebase. Now you can use your old project and also you can create a new one. I am going with the new one. So. Create a project in Firebase, name it as you want. And, and create the project. Now it will build the project within a minute. Then click on the continue button. Now choose Android from here. And now here we have to add the application ID. Copy from your project. Uh, your package ID is also your application ID. Same as it is. And paste it here. Now we have to add SHA1 certificate. To get that, open your project and open Gradle. In root, you can find sig signing report. Just double click on it and it will give you the SHA1 key. So now copy it and paste it here. Then click next. Now download this JSON file and copy it. And copy it in the app folder of your project. Now we need to add these codes, but this is latest, but we don't need that as latest code have some problems regarding the code. So we will always work with the older version. So copy this line and paste it under the app level build file. Now you need to add the class path. So, so open your project level build file and paste the, paste the 3.1.1 class path and sync the project now we have to create a new package and give it a name authentication in this folder we will add sign in and sign up activities so create a new activity for login activity so
for login we need a ui just i am creating this ui for the login purpose but not giving too much time for that just first forwarding this part and because the main part is the back end side not the ui so let's skip this ui part So UI is now done so let's add the variables to the java file and find them using id. Now we need to add Firebase to the app, Firebase authentication to the app, so add this dependency and sync the project. Now add Firebase auth variable. Now we need to get the text from the edit text so store them in this string. Now we are adding a if statement where if it checks if the edit text boxes are empty or not. If empty then it's so a tossed. Otherwise, it will log in the user. So for logging the user, we add this code. So in the success, we add a if 
Under the if, we are sending the user to the main activity if the task is successful, otherwise I saw the toast of the error message. This is simple code for logging the user. Now one more thing we need to add user permission for the internet. Now as our application opens the main activity so we need to check that if the user is logged in or not. So in the main activity we check that if the user is logged in then it will not do anything and if the user is not logged in uh, then we will send the user to the login page. That is the simple and small code. Now let's run the application and see how it look and work. Now we cannot log in as we don't have any account and we cannot create a new one because we don't have created the sign up page so open firebase and go to authentication section and here just enable email and password then add a new user Now let's log in the app with this credential. And that's it. We are logged in. Simple. So I'm stopping this video here. In the next part, we will create the sign up page and add a sign out in the main activity. For now, subscribe, like, and tell me how the video is and what to do in the next. Bye bye.